March 20th. Um, it was Wednesday. Today's Thursday. But you know what? That's okay. Hopefully you got to, you know, take an opportunity to celebrate World Oral Health Day, which is really, really important. But, you know, if you didn't get a chance to celebrate it, hey, it's not too late. You can absolutely create some content for your social media platforms um, and uh, for your website or maybe send out um, information via snail mail or pass out information to your patients. Because you know what? Every day is a good day to remind your patients about oral health and well-being. Okay, so we're going to talk about ways that uh, you can still uh, celebrate World Oral Health Day. But before we dive too deeply into that, just want to remind everyone that each week Princess Dental Staffing is bringing you um, these live streams, which cover a topic regarding your career in the dental industry. If you don't want to miss out on future streams, be sure to follow our page or subscribe to our channel. If you like the content that we're bringing you, drop us a like. And if you want to be part of the conversation, if you have any thoughts or insights, maybe some questions about the content that we're bringing you, or, you know, just about the dental industry as a whole, feel free to comment below and we will respond to your comment as soon as possible. Okay. Additionally, just want to remind everyone that Princess Dental Staffing is a dental job board and they have positions available for dental receptionists, dental assistants, dental hygienists, dentists, and others in a variety of different areas. They've got full-time available, part-time, temporary, and permanent roles. So if you have some time today, hop on to princessdentalstaffing.com and see what positions they have available in your area. Uh, if you're a job seeker, it's also super easy to create a profile and get your information in front of hiring managers. And if you're a hiring manager, you can also visit princessdentalstaffing.com and see their contact information. They've got email, phone, and chat available on the website as well. Additionally, on princessdentalstaffing.com, you can check out their blog, which covers a lot of the same topics that we cover in these live streams. In fact, after this stream posts, I will go ahead and link in the comments um, the World Oral Health Day blog post because they've got some other really great visual ideas uh, for you to be inspired to uh, celebrate World Oral Health Day. And I want to be able to share those with you so that you can see them and again, be inspired. Okay. All right. So let's talk about World Oral Health Day. So this is a global holiday and it's dedicated to raising awareness about the importance of good oral hygiene practices and their impact on overall health and well-being. So it's a really important holiday. And it's a really great opportunity for dental offices to get involved, and it helps uh, serve as a reminder of the crucial role that dental staff play in promoting oral health within their communities. Okay, so let's talk about ways that you can celebrate um, World Oral Health Day. Um, because it is important to celebrate World Oral Health Day, it really does help you engage with your own community, raise awareness about oral health, and promote preventative care. It's also a great opportunity to connect with your staff and connect with your patients and uh, just bring the best service possible uh, to both. Okay, so let's talk about ways that you uh, can celebrate World Oral Health Day. Hosting an event is a really great option. The FDI World Dental Federation offers an opportunity for dental offices to create and post an event for World Oral Health Day. So, you know, for example, you could organize talks on topics such as proper brushing and flossing techniques, uh, the importance of regular dental checkups, or the connection between oral health and overall well-being. And you can, you know, post that. That, um, that event on their website and just get more exposure for the event and hopefully gain an audience, okay? You can also offer free oral health screenings or maybe like discounted services as well. Um, you can provide things like complimentary oral health screenings to both existing patients and members of the community who maybe don't have access or don't have great access to dental care. Uh, and this can help them identify any potential issues early on. And it can also encourage individuals to seek follow-up treatments if needed. Spreading information is also really, really crucial to celebrating this day, right? Because not everyone knows about World Oral Health Day, okay? So you definitely want to spread information. Uh, you can do things like creating office displays and putting them up in your reception area. Uh, you can post educational materials on your socials. Um, but all of these things can really help encourage um, the celebration of World Oral Health Day and, of course, oral hygiene and health. And you can also find resources for, you know, creating um, 
uh, creating uh, this content and these displays and those sorts of things on FDI's website and also on worldoralhealthday.com. Okay, so you don't have to reinvent the wheel here. You can absolutely, if you want to create your own content, you absolutely can. Um, but you know, if you just want something that is universal and that's already created, you can absolutely use those resources. Okay, planning and sharing and. Um, a social media campaign. Again, it's really important to get this information out there and let everyone know, you know, about World Oral Health Day and why you're celebrating it and why it's important. Okay, so you can absolutely use your dental office's social media platforms and their website to spread awareness about World Oral Health Day, and you can share informative posts, videos, and infographics that cover things such as world, um, oral hygiene tips, uh, common dental problems to look out for, and the importance of preventative care. And you can also use hashtags, right? Hashtags, great way to kind of spread your message and reach a wider audience, such as hashtag World Oral Health Day. Okay. You can also offer special promotions uh, because special promotions really help incentivize patients to prioritize their oral health, right? So offering incentives that that provide patients with, you know, that sort of that instant reward for doing something good for themselves, such as special promotions, discounts on dental services, and the like, is a really great way to encourage them to prioritize their oral health. So you can consider offering things like discounted cleanings, whitening treatments, or oral hygiene products, um, discounted oral hygiene products for a limited time, like leading up to, you know, uh, World Oral Health Day, or maybe just like during the week as well. Okay. Organizing charity events is a great way to get involved in the community, right? Because that's what this, you know, holiday is all about. World Oral Health Day is all about getting involved, right? And the best way to do that is by getting involved locally to contribute to a global initiative. So organizing a charity event is a great way to do that. It's also a great way to give back to your community. Okay, so you can organize an event to support oral health initiatives. You can consider partnering with, you know, local organizations such as charities and nonprofits that focus on providing dental care to underserved populations. So, and these events can uh, include things like fundraisers, donation drives, or volunteer days to support the efforts. Okay, great way to get involved um, uh, locally. Okay. You can also create customized patient education materials, okay? So this is going to take more time and effort and maybe even more money. But, you know, if you've, you know, perused FDI's website or the worldoralhealthday.com website and you're just not vibing with the materials, you can absolutely feel free to create your own materials and your own content, okay? Again, this does take more time, effort, and maybe even money, but, you know, it's also on the upside, it's a great way to kind of connect with your staff and, and you know, uh, really fortify that team building because you can in, you can employ your office manager or maybe your team members who are really good with, you know, certain applications and systems that help create things like, you know, brochures, flyers, posters and all of that. Um, you can employ them to kind of help out to create, um, you know, content and material specific to uh, World Oral Health Day, okay? And you may want to consider including information on common dental issues, preventative care tips, and the importance of regular dental checkups. Again, that's what this holiday is all about, so you definitely want to focus on those areas, okay? And the materials that you can create, you can, or that you create, you can distribute um, to your patients when they come in for, you know, their checkups or their, you know, their treatments, etc. during the week, or you can also distribute them at community events, okay? You can collaborate with local schools as well. So, you know, working with youth is a really great way to, it's, it's an excellent opportunity to start these oral health hygiene habits early right? So you're setting them up for, you know, engaging in these habits and making them routine throughout their entire lives, which again, contributes to oral health, which again, you know, contributes to overall health. OK, so partnering with local schools to promote oral health education um, among students is a 
is a really excellent choice to celebrate World Oral Health Day. You can do things like offer to visit classrooms, to deliver presentations on oral hygiene, healthy eating habits, and the effects of sugary drinks on teeth. You can also provide schools with educational materials, again, that you maybe got from the FDI's website or worldoralhealthday.com, or ones that you created yourself as well. So you can provide those materials and resources um, that the school can distribute throughout the year and on World Oral Health Day. Day to reinforce these messages consistently and really help build those, those habits that impact oral health over a lifetime. Okay. All right. So those are the ways that you can celebrate World Oral Health Day. Hopefully you were able to celebrate World Oral Health Day yesterday, or maybe you're continuing the celebration throughout the rest of this week. Um, either way, it's a, again, it's a, a really great way um, to, again, you know, in, inform and engage your patients and your team um, on the importance of oral health. Okay. So after, like I said, after this stream post, I'll go ahead and link the blog post below to today's blog. And you'll be able to see some other options for like, uh, for celebrating World Oral Health Day, such as content um, for posts and uh, photos for posts and things like that, different hashtags that you can use in order to gain a wider audience uh, for, you know, World Oral Health Day and all of those sorts of things. Okay. But that will do it for me today, everyone. I hope you had a great World Oral Health Day. And if your office celebrated World Oral Health Day yesterday, or maybe is still celebrating or plans to celebrate for the rest of the week, uh, be sure to comment below. Give everyone some more ideas on ways that they can celebrate and engage. Okay. And if you have any picks, hey, feel free to share them. Okay. All right. So hope you uh, enjoyed today's stream. We will be back next week with a new topic covering your career in the dental industry. Until then, I hope you have a great week. I hope you have a great weekend. Continue to stay safe out there. I'll see you soon.